Hi everybody, I'm here with my 1987 Honda CR500 and I'm about to do a compression test. Now the target compression for a stock 500 motor is right around 150 psi. Really anything within a range of 140 to 160 is going to be perfectly fine. Now if it falls below 140, you're going to be losing some power. You might have some difficulty getting it started. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up my compression tester and see how this bike does. Checking the compression on a two-stroke dirt bike is not difficult, but you do need a compression test kit like the one pictured here. First, you have to pop off the spark plug wire cap, then use a small wrench to loosen and remove the spark plug. Snake the hose of the compression tester through the shroud so you don't have to bend it too much, and then screw it into the spark plug hole. It should thread in easily by hand. Once it started, you could screw it in quickly just by twisting the hose. Turn the brass fitting as tight as you can with your fingers. Connect the pressure gauge. It's a good idea to wear a boot when trying to start these bigger bikes. That way if your foot slips off the kickstarter, you won't rip your shin open on the foot peg. With the throttle fully open, kick the bike over five to eight times. The compression gauge needle will rise with each kick until it reaches maximum compression. It looks like the compression is 155 psi, which is right on target for a stock 500. A common misconception is that bigger bikes have more compression than smaller bikes. I think people arrive at this idea because it's harder to kickstart a larger bike. But the actual reason for this is because a larger bike has a greater volume of air inside the cylinder. Remember that PSI means pounds per square inch. A bike with more square inches of displacement will require more effort to kick than one with fewer square inches even though the compression for both bikes is the same. I have a KX85, KX100, YZ125, and this CR500. They all have about 150 psi of compression, but yes, the bigger bikes require more effort to kickstart. I didn't show it here to save time, but it's a good idea to repeat the compression test two more times just to confirm the results. If you get different readings, check to be sure your hose is screwed in tightly to your spark plug hole, and make sure your compression tester is functioning properly. It's also a good idea to test your bikes when they're running well and keep a record of the compression. This way, if something goes wrong with your bike later, you have that baseline data to compare to. Okay, I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, and check out my other dirt bike videos here on Go Hobby. Ride safe, everyone!